One of the most important founding fathers is someone that most people have never even heard of. John Dickinson is best known as the penman of the revolution. In response to the hated Townsend Acts, he wrote a series of 12 essays known as Letters from a Farmer in Pennsylvania. They were widely read in the colonies and acted as a driving force against the British. Dickinson was also a member of the Continental Congress, which coordinated resistance during the early years of the Revolutionary War. During his tenure, he drafted two important pre-war documents, a petition to the king and the Olive Branch petition, both attempts to negotiate peace. But when negotiations failed, Dickinson wrote the final draft of the Declaration of the Causes and Necessity of Taking Up Arms. But despite his prominent role, he refused to sign the Declaration of Independence. It's because he believed the colonies should formally unite and seek foreign alliances first. To that end, Dickinson did agree to head a committee to draft up a constitution for the Union of the States. The committee presented Dickinson's first draft of the Articles of Confederation to the Congress on July 12, 1776. Dickinson later served as a Delaware delegate to the Philadelphia Convention that drafted the Constitution. He supported ratification with a series of essays known as the Fabius Letters. In these, he showed his strong support for state sovereignty. He wrote, A territory of such extent as that of United America could not be safely and advantageously governed, but by a combination of republics, each retaining all the rights of supreme sovereignty accepting such as ought to be contributed to the Union. John Dickinson was Delaware's wealthiest farmer and largest slaveholder. However, in 1777, he freed all of his slaves. In fact, he was the only founder to do so during the period of 1776 to 1786. When learning of his death, Thomas Jefferson wrote that John Dickinson was among the first of the advocates for the rights of his country whose name will be consecrated in history as one of the great worthies of the revolution.